our next speaker. Don't be nervous. He does have the same last name as the gentleman yesterday. This is a doctorate in the world of dentistry. Going to come speak on the subject of mercury. He's a powerhouse, travels the world. Let's stand to our feet and honor the man, Dr. Kennedy. Going to rock your world. Take some notes. Thank you. I'm back again to talk about the obvious. In case you didn't get it last year, then we're back this year to tell you some of one, the other dental foolery. There are several of them, but um, basically I'm talking today about uh, mercury and then I'm going to get into some of the infertility and birth defects problems that affect the general population, but they affect dental assistants and female dentists enormously and they don't know what's causing it. So I'm going to tell you what's causing it. So when you see one of these people in your practice, in your neighborhood or something like that, say, by the way, did you know? The uh, mercury's a poison. Uh, gee. <laughs> and you can get it from breathing. You can get it from getting on your skin. And uh, you can get it from uh, uh, your fillings. You can get it from fish. And that we learned about this in the la middle of the last century. The Romans knew mercury was a poison. But in the middle of the last century, a little tiny fishing village in Japan, they, they said, well, the cats are going crazy. You know, there's something that's called the disease of the dancing cats because all of a sudden they developed the inability to, you know, act normally. So the uh, uh, people were called, and they, uh, the next thing you knew is that all of a sudden the... Uh, people started having neurological impairments. They had uh, uh, inability to drink out of a glass of water because they, too, began to suffer this mysterious disease. Well, you know, the cat's out of the bag. That It was a, a, a company up the hill running a, a chloralkali plant, I believe, as I recall, was dumping the safe kind of mercury in the river and then... It got down to those pesky little plankton who turned it into the unsafe kind of mercury, and the fish ate that, and then the cat ate the fish, and then the, then people ate the fish. And Well, you know, the, the, it's, um, we're going to have that again, by the way. Uh, we're doing away with the EPA. There's entirely too many controls on the, what we can do with industry. Um, so the, uh, the whole story is that deny, deny, deny that... The company denied that, no, we're not, we're releasing the safe kind of mercury. It, it couldn't possibly cause these people all this problem. Oh, it's really not a problem. It, it, it does, it's a very little bit, you know. It an, and it, does it sound like your dentist? Because <laughs> that's all they say. Is they want to talk about a scotia or a dab or a teeny whiny bit, but they don't want to talk about what the real problem is. It's dose. The amount of mercury you get from your fillings exceeds the safe dose. And... Why is that important? Is I've got on the screen here an experiment that the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology helped fund, and that we do fun things, and that uh, this is in a Petri dish where they introduced a uh, uh, thousand times less mercury than you have in your brain if you've got mercury fillings in your teeth, and the cerebral spinal fluid, actually. And that what happens is the minute they introduce it, this is time lapse, but the minute they introduce that low level, the safe kind of mercury is inorganic mercury, and that the, the nerves shrivel, and it turns into a neurofibular tangle, which is like Alzheimer's disease. And so we can recreate that in a Petri dish over and over again, and we still get people saying, well, we don't know what causes Alzheimer's disease. Well, you can make an animal inhale mercury, and it creates all of the same hallmark diagnostic lesions as you see in uh, Alzheimer's disease. And yet we have other people who have other agendas keep coming up with, well, there's also this. And it's, it's just, I look like a murder trial, you know, like, oh, well, you know, they, they fell down the stairs and stabbed themselves in the back. That's what it was. It was a fall, not Joe Schmo with his fingerprints on it, but he handed him the blade. That's what. It, so an alternative explanation does not satisfy the needs of science. It's not an alternative explanation. You show me the numbers. That's the deal. And so if you've got babies being born with enough mercury in their umbilical cord 
to cause neurological impairment, you've got a problem in your country. Nobody acknowledges that in this country. One out of six, that's the U.S. statistic. Well, where are they getting this mercury? Look in the woman's mouth. Or maybe it's one of those nice hospitals that shot a little flu shot in the lady when uh, she walked in the door. Some require the mother to be vaccinated with a flu shot. They made 270 million flu vaccines last year, of which 10 million did not contain mercury. The Cal Jam Network is your all-access pass to Cal Jam all year long. The site hosts hundreds of videos and endless chiropractic content. The network is a great resource for anyone passionate about chiropractic health. Visit this newly renovated Cal Jam streaming service at caljamnetwork.org.